Grade 1 action next with the Ascot Chasers, a 2 mile 5 fur on Grade 1. Bernie Spann is at the top for David Robertson, Courtbrook, John Morgan, Dave's Chance, David Hooney, Damani Steele, Darren Thompson, El Centro rated for Vinnie Gerard, Folk Etymology, Leon Van Rensburg, Lord Carew, Padre Hogan, Quester Cut, Martin Dillon, Templar Knight, Daniel French, The Best Is Yet To Come, and Refault Line for Joshua Sutherland, Event Horizon, Craig Beckwith, Paperweight Walker, David Robertson, Pot of Cash, Craig Beckwith, San Pedro, and Vinnie Gerard. She's flying David Hooley and Victorian Lady for Jim Murray. 17 of them in this then. Big fields in the jumps this season. And they're away and racing. Templar Knight is one of the first to show. Good for big fields in most of the races. Now. Just maybe the uh, novices that we need to look at. I'm going to make a few more of them handicaps. And Templar Knight is the leader from El Centro rated second. And Lord Carew third. Only grey in the field, I think, is Victorian Lady, Jim Murray's horse. And the black and the red. As they get to the first of the 16, they're going pretty quickly. And they've all got over the first. OK, we can't blame John Morgan for the pace this time. It's Daniel French's fault, they're going so fast. And they're over the second. With Templar Knight in the lead as they get to this ditch, which is fence number three already. And we've lost one there. It's Quester Cut that's gone, so... Disgruntled commentator alert as they get over number four. And the Templar Knight and El Centro rated in second. And the Fault Line is in third. And Victorian Lady and Lord Carew. And the best is yet to come. The folk etymology. It was about pot of cash. And the two David Robertson horses, Paperweight Walker and Bernie Span, are the back three. As they make their way into the final two miles. And Templar Knight is in the lead. And straight into that one, so too did El Centro rated, and now the pack are really beginning to bunch up. Templar Knight regaining his equilibrium and has now gone back into a length lead, but almost in second, the fault line looks to be travelling better. Courtbrook is in third as they get to the sixth. All over that one, okay, really good jump at the back by a pot of cash, who was a couple of lengths adrift in last place and has put in a really good leap there. And Caught the rest of them with that jump. And it's Templar Knight in the lead then. That's the big screen. That's the one in post pass. The totalizer out of board and heading out for a complete circuit of the track. Templar Knight in the lead. We're on Lord Carew. I suppose it's Templar Knight, really, it's not Templar Knight. Templar and all that. Anyway, we'll call it Templar Knight from now on, shall we? Let's get to the seventh. And over that one, they all go. With Templar Knight being joined now by El Centro Rated. Then comes the besties yet to come with Lord Carew and Courtbrook. This is the eighth. And El Centro Rated jumped into the lead there. Templar Knight now back in second. The best is yet to come third. Courtbrook four and Lord Carew five. Dave's chance is making some ground on the outside in the purple jacket as they take that ditch. Which they all got over okay. The second of Vinnie Gerard's horses, San Pedro Erna, has now dropped to the back as they take number 10. And his other one, El Centro rated, is in the lead. From Templar Knight in second. The best is yet to come third. Then Courtbrook. Yeah, Dave's chance at the fault line. She's flying. It's also getting closer. Folk etymology is just sitting quietly in mid-div at the moment. Lord Carew on the rail. Wide on the track is the Grey Victorian Lady. Pot of Cash is also trying to move a little bit closer. Bernie Span likewise. With Event Horizon and Damani still now the back pair. And it's Templar Knight who leads over this next one from El Centro rated the fault line. And the best is yet to come. She's flying. And then Dave's chance. This is the 12th. And she's caught thick and fast down that part of the track. And Templar Knight is now back into a three or four length lead. That's the final ditch. The fourth one. It's a four of their El Centro rated's gone. So Vinnie Gerard's charges out there. This is the third last. And over it goes. Templar Knight in the lead. But the Joshua Sutherland pair look ominous in second and third. The fault line and the best is yet to come. Courtbrook is next. Now Folk Etymology starts to get going. She's flying. And Dave Chance also making a bit of a forward move but Templar Knight's the one they've got to get to two to take in the straight it's Templar Knight who's four lengths clear of the fault line and the best is yet to come
on then caught Brook and Funk etymology. Sheaves flying is after that and then pot a cash over the second last and Templar Knight jumped it really well. Got away from it well. It's four to five clear of the fault line in second. The rest of them are closing but not very quickly. This is the final fence and Templar Knight looking like he might only have to jump it to take this. Although fault line's getting closer. It's Templar Knight coming into the last. Stood off it, got over it okay. Fuck like I made a mistake. That's the race puts a bed for me. Templar Knight then is clearing the lead with half a foot to go. But now the fault line and the best is yet to come. Start to come back. Here comes Corporal. The lead is tying up and his fault line is getting up. And the fault line's got up to win enough. We look like he'd lost it at the last. The fault line wins it. The best is yet to come. Second in Corporal. Folk etymology. Templar Knight hit the wall. Maybe he doesn't stay too far. But it's... A bit of a surprise there because when the fault line hit that last it looked like it was all over and he managed to get himself going again and the leader just died on his feet didn't he the fault line takes it for Joshua Southern and he gets a 1-2 with the best is yet to come second third was court block for John Morgan fourth was folk etymology for Leon van Rensburg and the fifth also finished was the horse who looked all over the winner jumping the last Daniel French's Templar Knight